Welcome to another episode of Python Tips and Tricks and in today's session we are going to cover dictionaries. Before going into certain tips and tricks, let's have a look of certain key features of dictionaries. First of all, dictionaries are key value pairs and every value is ordered with a key. Next, they are ordered data set by which they actually maintain their order of insertion. Next, they are mutable that is you can add, remove or modify elements within a dictionary and the keys in the dictionary should be unique that is all the keys should be distinct with respect to each other and they can be either strings, numbers or tuples and last but not the least dictionaries are can support different types of data types and that can include other dictionaries and tuples as well. So we will start off with dictionary comprehension. So in case of dictionary comprehension, we can actually create a new dictionary by using the same concepts of uh, building a dictionary using variables. So let's see how we can do that. So let's suppose we want to find the squares of the first four numbers and what we can do is like assign a variable x and then using the key value pair methodology we will say like uh, each number would be mapped to its square and we'll say like the x range lies in between from 0 to 4 which in this case would be a range of 5. So now when we print this variable out here as expected we will get this so as you can see each number has been actually mapped to its squared values so this was one of the tricks using dictionaries itself and building another dictionary the next one that i am going to show you guys is actually merging dictionaries and this is a bit tricky uh, so this would be technically using the or operator which we normally use in if statements and i will show you how we can do that so let's say i assigned uh, two dictionaries and i will assign let's say comma 1 and b 2 and I will also take another dictionary four. So now as you can see we have two dictionaries out here and now we want to merge this. So for merging this we can directly use dict1 and then we will use the or operator uh, which we normally as i said use in if else statements and then when we print this variable we will get a merged dictionary of all these elements in the two other dictionaries as you can see so this is like a smart way of actually merging dictionaries. The next one, uh, which is like how to extract values from an, from an existing dictionary. And for that, I will use the get function. So this would be technically pretty simple. So default values using get function so this would be like let's let's assign another dictionary called my dict and then we can actually say a colon one and b colon two and now i want to get the value of one of the elements so as as you can see like uh, we don't have any other numbers but 
I will try to check whether it can assign a default value and get it back. So let's say if I do say um, C and I assign a default value of it as zero. So as you can see, like the there is no key called C in this uh, above dictionary. But even then, if I now print it, as I have set it and assign a default value of zero, it should give me the value of zero. So yes, as you can see, even though C is not there, I have assigned it a default value and now it's giving me uh, zero. So the next one, which I think uh, we all have to come up with is like creating a dictionary from lists. And this is something which can be very useful when you are working with a lot of unstructured data and you want to do mapping between different lists. So um, I will show that uh, that how we can do that. So this would be technically pretty simple. So dictionary from lists. So let's say we have one list which we call as keys and we assign a comma b comma c and the other one we will say as values and we will say 1 comma 2 comma 3 and now we want to merge these keys and values these two separate lists into a dictionary so how can we do that so let's say we assign a variable called dict new and then what we have to do is apply the dict function and on that we have to zip these two lists like we actually merging the two lists and then applying the dict function to con convert them into key value pairs so this would be keys comma values and now i would be printing this new variable let's see what it gives us so as you can see we have been successfully being able to actually merge two lists into a dictionary uh, the next step would be something which we uh, function which we do in all kinds of data structures and this one would be sorting a dictionary so let's see how we can do that so this is sorting a dictionary so let's take for example our um, a new variable uh, dictionary variable which is unsorted in terms of its values and say it's something like b colon 2 comma a colon 1 and c colon 3 so as you can see this is an unsorted um, dictionary in terms of its values. However, I sh should make you aware of one thing: the key values are distinct and they do not have do not follow any sorting patterns. So now I want to sort this above dictionary <laughs> based on my values. So what I will do is apply it on the sorted function of dict unsorted comma dot items and this should give me a sorted dictionary in terms of the values voila so as you can see, we were able to sort an unsorted dictionary in terms of its values by using the sorted function. 
uh, on its items and then applying the dict function again. So next step, which what we will try to do is like inverting a dictionary, like just flipping it on the other side. So let's see how we can do that. So this is a bit tricky uh, in terms of how it's done. And for this, I will actually use my previous one, my sorted dictionary that I just showed you. And I will actually apply a new method to it where I will say my inverted dictionary. And what we actually have to do is swap the keys with the values. So in terms of inverting a dictionary, what it means, like you actually swap the values as keys and the keys as values. So this can be done in this way. V colon K where for K comma V. So K comma V is the original order and we are now converting it as V is to K in sorted dict. So what I've done, I have just swapped them uh, dot items. This is important. And now when I print inverted dict, so as you can see, the values have now become my keys and vice versa. So this is how you can actually invert a dictionary by swapping its keys as values. So the last and not the least I would say is like using the concept of nested dictionaries where you have a, diction a dictionary in another dictionary and then you want to extract uh, those nested dictionaries from from that master dictionary so i will show you that which might come useful when you are actually using a very big data set which has lots of correlated uh, information so nested dictionaries so let's say i create a nested dictionary where I would have one a master dictionary and within that this so this a would be mapped to another dictionary itself and that would be so let's say x colon one and y colon two and so this is one dictionary and then there is another master dictionary here which is B where we assign it to another set of X and Y. So as you can see this can be used when for different kinds of items or categories you have the same parameters and that, that is where you can widely use this technique and say here I assign it three and y as four. So this is the way you can actually build a nested dictionary. And now suppose you want to extract the value of x in the dictionary which has a key of a. So how you can do that? That's pretty simple. You just need to print nested then you have to first call the master dictionary which is a and then call the sub uh, key of that dictionary which is x as we want the value of x in the dictionary which has the key a so if we do that and if we run this see we have got the value one so 
that was all in terms of tips and tricks related to dictionary so that was all from me today i will be posting more videos on this content so please do like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates thank you